Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick video. All right, y'all, back with some quick fight announcement news, but more like fight replacement news. As y'all know, Manal Firo was scheduled to make her return this Saturday against uh, Marina Moreau, and this is a fight we were all looking forward to. You know, um, we've been talking about the up-and-coming prospect in Manal Firo, you know, going in there, making a big statement against, against a veteran in uh, Marina Moreau. Hell, I was actually going to do my prediction for it today. You know, we talked about it in some live streams, but I haven't really, like, made my full-on prediction. But... Just found out yesterday that Marina Moreau is out and Tabitha Ricci is stepping in on short notice to take on Manon Firo. So this kind of changes the texture of the fight a little bit, you know, the significance of, you know, the fight for uh, Manon Firo. You know, first first time around, she's going to be stepping in there with a veteran. Now she's stepping in with a young up and coming fighter, young undefeated up and coming fighter making her debut on short notice, you know, and uh, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But um, as you all know, Manon Firo, she hit the scene few months ago back in January against Victoria Leonardo who she scored she scored a second round stoppage over in her debut and um yeah before that she was a UAE flyweight champion you know she was going in there dominate her opponents looking good and ever since I saw her I was like okay this girl if she comes to the UFC she's going to be looking like a threat and I consider her part of my triple threat like I said you know between her Taylor Santos and Miranda Maverick I felt like you know throughout the next couple of years or so or year and a half that you know at least two out of three of these fighters would be going into the top 10 and potentially be challenging for, you know, a title shot. You know, I felt I feel pretty strong about that. You know, that's why I was like, if Manon Firo comes in here, blasts out Marina Moreau, that's what's going to happen. But um, now she's kind of taking a step down in an opponent in uh, Tabitha Ricci. If you're not familiar with Tabitha Ricci, first off, uh, I've covered a couple of fights on my channel. You know, I feel like, you know, she's a strong up and coming fighter and, um, you know, she's undefeated. You know, working on her uh, working on her striking her stand up game. You know, she's a black belt in jujitsu, and um, yeah, I think she's really been making a statement for where she's been fighting. Um, as y'all know, she's just she just fought like a month and a half ago, almost two months ago, uh, for uh, LFA 105. You know, she just she's coming off a uh, second round TKO win over uh, Shauna Ormsby, and uh, yeah, she's taking that call to come over to the UFC, which I was kind of questioning. You know, as soon as I heard it was Tabitha Ricci, because I was like, wait a minute. No, she fight at 115. You know, I think maybe some of her earlier fights or amateur fights, maybe at 125, you know, maybe she can, you know, teeter between that weight. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, a few of her last few fights were 115. So, yeah, this is a big challenge for her. It's a big step up. Her first fight against a former UAE champion, a uh, big, strong flyweight that a lot of people feel like can be uh, a bantamweight in uh, Manon Firo. You know, I, again, I know that she has a black belt in jujitsu. Uh, Tabitha Ricci does. And, you know, she's been putting her stand up together. You know, her jab's been looking good. Uh, you know, she's been um, just trying her best to come together as a well-rounded fighter. But this is a big test for her. You know, it's a big test. And I know fighters, they like to take that opportunity. But, you know, I just hope she's prepared for this because um, I know they feel like sometimes these opportunities won't come. But sometimes you do have to wait. You know, I think this is going to be a hard test for uh, for uh, Tabitha Ricci because uh, Manon Firo, you know, she's already had a belt before. You know, she has that experience. And I think she just has that momentum right now. So I'm not I'm not actually going to do a full on breakdown prediction for it, you know, later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you now while I do this fight announcement. I'm actually kind of leaning towards Manon Firo in this fight. I feel like, you know, she has the speed, the athleticism in this fight and just the overall strength, power and size that's going to be able to overpower, um, overpower Tabitha Ricci. Now, if it went to the ground, it might be interesting because, again, like I said, she does have that jujitsu background and she is a solid fighter on the ground. Like I said, I've seen the some of her past few fights uh she's just really been putting together her stand-up though that's going to be the problem though i think if it stays standing you know manon Firo is definitely gonna have that advantage and even that reach advantage going into this fight and power and speed you know i think she's gonna have that power and speed and technique so if i had to pick in this fight i feel like manon Firo, she's gonna win this fight probably by a stoppage you know if i have to pick yeah but uh yeah guys um definitely uh check out tabitha Ricci, you know get familiar with her because I do feel like she is a solid up-and-coming straw weight but uh yeah this is going to be a big test for her again we have Manon Firo taking on Tabitha Ricci Marina Moreau's out Tabitha Ricci's in guys combo breaker 99 I'm out subscribe peace